Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this quadrilateral OABC inside this circle. As you can see in this figure, such that this angle AOC is 120 degrees. And moreover, O is the center of this circle. And now we are going to calculate this angle X, which is same as this angle CBE. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and construct an angle ADC by connecting points A and C with some point D somewhere here. So point D is over here and we are going to connect this point and likewise we are going to connect uh, these points. And here's our much nicer looking diagram and here's our next step. Let's focus on this angle which is our angle ADC. And now let's recall this fact. The angle at center is two times the angle at the circumference. So this is the angle that is at the center and this is the angle at the circumference. And we know that this angle is twice of this angle. So therefore this angle is going to be 60 degrees. So therefore this angle ADC turns out to be 60 degrees since this is the half of the angle at the center. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this quadrilateral ABCD, the one that I have highlighted over here. And this quadrilateral is called a cyclic quadrilateral. And here's the definition of a cyclic quadrilateral. Sometimes it is called inscribed quadrilateral. A quadrilateral whose all vertices lie on the same circle. And here we can see this vertex A, vertex B, vertex C and vertex D. All of them lie on the same circle. And moreover the opposite angles in this uh, cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees. Therefore, these two angles, angle ADC, this angle, and this angle ABC, they add up to 180 degrees. And now we know that this angle ADC is 60 degrees. So let's go ahead and write down 60 degrees plus this angle ABC equals to 180 degrees. So let's go ahead and subtract 60 degrees from both sides so we can calculate this angle ABC turns out to be simply 120 degrees. So that means this angle angle ABC turns out to be 120 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this straight angle, the one over here, this one. This is our 180 degrees angle and that is same as this angle ABC and this angle X. In other words, these two angles add up to 180 degrees. We know that our angle ABC is 120 degrees. I'm going to replace this one by 120 degrees plus this angle X equal to 180 degrees. Let's go ahead and solve for X by subtracting 120 degrees from both sides. So this is gone. So that means our angle X turns out to be simply 60 degrees. So thus our angle X turns out to be 60 degrees and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.